Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Ashley, also known as Ashford Plays. And we're back with another episode from my Discovery University Let's Play series. We're finally going on a spring break trip with the twins. If you guessed that the twins are going to Solani for their trip, you would be correct. However, I did give Solani a Caribbean twist because I feel like I always come to this world whenever my sons go on vacation. And I just wanted to switch it up a bit. Plus, I've been wanting a Caribbean inspired world in the Sims for the absolute longest. So this is me manifesting it, but we're currently in Turkey in Caicos but the twins did not come alone so we have Cameron rooming with Chastity and because this is their first trip together this is gonna be like a little vacation for them like they're gonna be pretty much doing their own thing on this trip so I don't expect them to interact that much with the rest of the group Camille is rooming with her best friend Tasha and I'm already gonna let y'all know Camille's been wilding out on this trip so if you think Camille's behavior in the past few episodes have been pretty messy go ahead and buckle in because we finna get even more wild <laughs> Next is baby Matthew in his little boo thing, Jordan. <laughs> and then the final two Sims that were originally going on this trip are Anthony and Seven. But they're currently separated. And because of this, I figure they no longer want to room with each other. So with that being said, Anthony did invite Devin on the trip at the last minute. Devin is Cameron's frat brother, as well as a friend of Anthony's. And he'll be rooming with him instead. As for Seven, I was initially going to have her back out of this trip because of her little altercation with Camille um after she done whooped Camille's ass <laughs> but you guys did not think that this was fair for Seven to miss out on a trip because of Anthony and Camille's actions and you know what I agree I agree 100% so she ended up coming on the trip after all and she is now rooming with her best friend Maureen who if you don't remember a few episodes ago she hooked up with Devin in the closet at the art exhibit <laughs> I imagine they're gonna be booed up on this trip as well. We'll just see how things go. But that is all the Sims that's going on the spring break trip. It's quite a few. I wasn't expecting to be 10 Sims. I'm gonna try my best to interact with them all as much as I can. But you guys know how overwhelmed I get and I don't wanna pause my game like every five seconds. So I'm honestly just gonna let the Sims their own thing and we're just gonna go along with it. The twins are currently staying at the spa resort, which is originally made by Marcia Augusta. Their information will be in the description for you guys but as always i did make some personal edits to it i am using a lot of custom content from harry and felix andre but because the twins are university students they aren't actually able to go on vacation and stay on a rental lot so this was the ultimate choice but i'm honestly very satisfied with it i'm currently having them host a party with all the guests so that they show up at the resort and this is possible with the longer parties in more guest mod made by Werbusu. i also finally adjusted the time in my game with MC the command center to make time go a little bit slower. I think the default is 25 but I adjusted my settings to 35. I will say it did mess up my calendar a bit. Tomorrow is technically supposed to be the first day of summer which is the twins 22nd birthday but apparently it's gonna be spring until Tuesday. Also all the holidays are just completely out of order so I'm gonna have to go through here and change it. I have no idea how this is going to affect the timeline with Mimi's storyline. <laughs> 
thing. I'm hoping that because I changed the time, it'll also adjust Mimi's calendar to look very similar to this. But I did make a backup save just in case something happened, y'all. We're not taking any chances. But because I did adjust the time to be a little bit slower, I do expect this trip to be two episodes rather than one. So on today's agenda, we're just gonna have the twins relax at the resort. Later on, they're gonna be enjoying a nice dinner on a yacht. After dinner, there is going to be a bubble party and we're gonna end the night off there. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick little tour of my version of this resort. I am obsessed, y'all. I'm so obsessed with this lot. I think the original creator did such an amazing job with the layout. So here's the main entrance of the resort. And when you go through the double doors, you're met with a lobby. Here is what the lobby looks like. It is so nice and bougie. And it just, I feel like this is a resort you would see in Turks and Caicos, honestly. <laughs> we have the complimentary champagne owls. I'm definitely gonna have the twins grab some on their way in while they check in for their rooms. To your right is the dining room. And in here, oh my gosh, I'm this is making me want to go on a trip bad y'all like so bad i am actually jealous of the twins right now like imagine staying at a resort like this here is the buffet that's set up in here this is the shop chef buffet made by ravishing i'm obsessed with this mod y'all i'm obsessed with all the mods made by ravishing but we currently have a few assortments out in display we have breakfast some seafood dishes and then desserts going out of the dining room we have like a lounge area it has like a bunch of outdoor seating out here we have live entertainment i low-key kind of want to have the bubble party during the day and then have the live performance at night because i love how this looks at night i don't know we'll see how everything goes over here we have some towels out for the guests to use and here's the view of the beach Here's where the bubble party will be taking place either later on today or tonight. Over here we have like the little bar area. And then in this corner we have a water fountain and then public bathrooms. And I'll show you guys what one of the bathrooms look like. It is so simple. Like you guys know I don't really be decorating bathrooms for real. It's just a sink and toilet in here and then a changing station. Okay I made this resort family friendly. Don't know why I did that because I honestly don't think any kids are going to be showing up. But down this hallway we have a few rooms and this room here is Camille and in Tasha's room and here is what their room looks like again I used so many items from Felix Andre and Harry's Harlux collection just like a bunch of CC in general made by those two creators here is what the bed looks like oh my gosh y'all I'm gagged I'm truly gagged at this room here's like a little 360 view and then look y'all it's the way i'm vicariously living through the twins right now i don't know how they're affording this but it is the way i'm so jealous of them right now here's the little patio that camille has attached to her room she has like an outdoor shower out here whenever she comes from swimming in the ocean we have a hot tub here some seating and then in this room here is the bathroom and here's what it looks like it's pretty tight knit in here like we have the sink the toilet and then the shower right here but if i had a room like this i honestly would not complain leaving camille and Tasha's room if you go down the hall on the right we have Cameron and Chastity's room and as soon as you walk in we got the liquor out <laughs> I did have them purchase liquor for this trip. It can't be a spring break trip without the liquor, y'all. We got the sangria, the Casamigos, the Duce, the Ciroc, the Don Julio, and of course the Peach Crown Royal. <laughs> the twins gonna have them a good little time on this trip. Unfortunately, these aren't functional. They're just purely decoration. We just gonna pretend that the twins drinking off this on the trip. Oh, I forgot. We have like a little mini fridge. We got so many amenities in here. We got... Hold on, let me show y'all. We even got like a little safe and in the safe, camera store chastity's engagement ring in it. So yeah, he gonna pop it out later on tonight, y'all. Um, and then here's the bathroom. It looks the exact same as Camille, so I'm not gonna show it off, but here's like the little coffee bar. We have complimentary coffee and then like a few bar items that you can use. And then here's their room. It's the exact same as Camille's, but it has like the most beautiful view of Solani, AKA Turks and Caicos. <laughs> Like y'all can't even say I didn't nibble, okay? Tell me I did not eat on this build. I even put a little phone in here for them to call room service, y'all. Okay, it's all the details, all in the details. So going across the hall is Matthew in Jordan's room. All the rooms look the same, so I'm, I'm just really not gonna show anymore after this one. But this is what theirs looks like. Fortunately, they don't have a cute little view of the beach, but that's okay. They can always go to Cameron and Camille's room to get access to the beach. 
And then in this room here, I imagine this is where Anthony and Devin are staying, which is mighty convenient for Camille because her room is across the hallway from him. So now we're gonna go on the second floor. So if you go through this hallway here, we have some vending machines and then we have elevators to take you to the second floor. And then on the second floor, we have even more amenities. Here is another view of the lobby from the second floor. I am obsessed. But to access the gym, you're gonna go down this little corridor here and then here is the gym we have some I still don't know what these are called y'all every time I see them I just I completely forget what they're called but we have some punching bags in here some treadmills and then a little weight station going out the gym and then to the left is the spa and here's what the spa looks like it's very simple not too much decor in here we have some massage tables and then some massage chairs leaving the spa we have the most beautiful view of the lounge area from the second floor and then tomorrow morning starting off next episode I'm hoping for the girls to attend a morning yoga class and here's where the class would take place but imagine the views during sunrise i cannot wait like it's gonna be such a vibe but this leads me to the final two rooms that are at the resort. And then this one right here is Seven and Marine's room. So they're on the second floor. And here's what their room looks like. Again, very similar to the other rooms. And that's pretty much it for the resort. Like I said before, we're hosting a party and we're waiting for everybody to show up still. While we wait, I'm gonna have Cameron and Camille enjoy their complimentary wine. Hello? Oh, she's feeling dizzy from her PMS. All right, girl. But like I said before, this lobby, it's a vibe. It is such a vibe. Oh, oh there goes uh, Chastity. Hold on, let me control her. There's like a few people I wanna control. I can't control everybody, cause again, there's 10 folks on this trip. So that's just not gonna happen. But I know I wanna control Chastity. Anthony, where's Anthony? Not him in here talking with Camille. I already know this trip finna be a doozy. <laughs> I mean, but since we're here, we might as well go ahead and start. <laughs> also, whenever Seven is around Camille, she gets tense because of that fight. <laughs> Honestly, might have her be messy and just go ahead and straight up flirt with him. Cause I mean, Seven's not in here. She's not in here right now. So what's stopping her from doing it? We just gonna compliment him. Yay, boo, Not him farting back! Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> I don't know why Dev is stressed, but he's currently talking to Marine. They're both stressed. If y'all don't go in somebody's hotel room and hunch it out. Okay, it looks like everyone is finally here. Matthew is here with Jordan. It looks like Seven is sad. Is she talking to Cameron? She is. Not Cameron in a very flirty mood. Please, like we supposed to be proposing today. Please don't do nothing that's gonna make me sad eye you, Cameron, please. But back to the people we're controlling for this trip. We have Seven, Cameron, Camille, Chastity, and Matthew. I might control Anthony as well. But I honestly just wanna see what he does on his own. Right now he flirting back with Camille. Clearly he's not feeling guilty about him and Camille's little hookup. And it looks like Seven is on her period right now. I feel like all of my sims are on a period. And I'm sick of it, so sick of it. Okay, let's have everybody come in here and grab breakfast. I think I'll grab the omelet for Chastity, Anthony, and Devin. I'll grab the pancakes for Jordan and baby Matthew, and then the French toast for Tasha. I'm not really gonna have her interact with Seven and Marine. Like, I feel like Seven done told Marine all the tea on Camille, and they're just not associating themselves with her. <laughs> Do miss a turrup. Not Seven came in here with the attitude. Not Cameron getting a new quirk. Mm -hmm. Refined palettes. Not him rubbing his belly. I'm so weak. <laughs> Where's Chastity? I thought I told her to come to grab breakfast. Chastity, girl. He fucking that shit up. <laughs> oh, Homegirl done already changed into her swimwear. She already feeling the vibes. You know what? We need to get on Chastity's level. <laughs> I'm gonna have the twins come to their hotel room to change into their swimwear. 
Before I do that though, there are a few Sims in the dining room that I wanna introduce you guys to quickly because I did grab them from the gallery from you guys. These three Sims I'm introducing you guys to are also on their spring break trip. They are students at Delso University, so like in Delso Valley. And I did this because I wanted the twins to meet Sims outside of Ubrite and Foxberry. And here's the first Sim, this is Aaliyah Carter. And here is her bio. Growing up, she has always had a lot of problems at home and would take her anger out on others at her high school. School. At the end of high school, she realized her mistakes and decided to become a better person. She wanted to find inner peace within her soul. This is where her love for wellness and fashion began to grow. She now studies at Delso University with a distinguished art history degree and dreams of being a well-known style influencer. Next is Veronica aka V Suarez and here is what her bio reads. Because she's polished, feminine, and gorgeous, Veronica is never taken seriously when she says she wants to become a comedian. Even her agent told her that she should shift into modeling instead but once Veronica makes it big as a comedian, the first thing she's doing is firing her agent. And then the final sim on this girl's trip is Gabriella Bartley, aka Brie. She has been waiting for this moment, the moment to experience life on her own with aspirations of becoming an English professor and help push the future forward. She has to get through university first. So these two sims are on their little girl's trip and pretty much added them so that Seven can interact with them. And speaking of interacting, there's one more sim I added from the gallery. This isn't a submission. I just grabbed it from the gallery because he was fine as hell. I think his name is pronounced Bezio, but he's currently just chilling, hanging out at the resort. He's actually a one-star celebrity and he got connections. Let me just leave it like that. He got connections. And I just want Seven to do a little bit for him with him because like she saw him walk by. She's still feeling heartbroken from her and Anthony's relationship. She trying to have some fun on this trip. Why is Camille feeling sad? People peeling away from feeling hurt by someone nearby. Can Camille truly call herself a people person when her friendships come apart so easily? Huh? No, not when you the cause of it. Girl, she get on my nerves so bad, y'all. Come in here and change. I'm gonna treat this buff away because Camille playing in both seven in my face right now. Oh, speaking of funds, I didn't talk about that. Also, I don't think this is accurate. I know I forgot to do something. Hold on, y'all. So from last episode, looks like the household funds were 10,894 simoleons. However, we need to account for the cost of the twins' hotel rooms. So originally, I was going to use this hotel mod made by Grumpy, but for some reason, I don't know if it's because I haven't updated my game in months. Anytime I add the Paradise Resort lot trait, it made my game immediately start lagging. I really wanted to use that mod for this episode but it's okay because we can just manually take the funds out ourselves. I believe the cost for a hotel room with that mod was 500 simoleons per night and I want to use that same price point for the twins rooms. The spring break trip will be two days long so that's a thousand simoleons in total for one room. I imagine Chastity and Tasha could be covering their half so ideally the twins are only paying 1,000 simoleons for the hotel and then I was thinking about charging 250 for round trip tickets each so $500 in total for the plane fares and everything. That's not I'm counting the excursion fees, okay? Cameron and Camille are gonna be doing a bunch of excursions on this trip. It'll be next episode. I haven't even taken that into account. But so far, they've already spent 1,500 simoleons on this trip. So we're gonna adjust this accordingly. And now the twins are sitting at 9,394 simoleons. And we're already going to be spending all the money because I want Cameron to give a toast to commemorate the spring break trip. So he's gonna be ordering drinks for the group. I think we're gonna do the gin fizz strictly because I've been on a gin kick in real life. Like my go-to cocktail right now is a Tom Collins, but I order that drink every chance I get y'all. Every chance. Rugi, Yakalo go gala. Kaljo Dorishi. Everybody was quick to go here and get their drinks. <laughs> is seven coming? Oh, seven's coming. Lunk, yes. She said, I'm gonna come for a free drink. Not her. Oh, did y'all peep that? Zombo Seven was about to sit here and then she realized she was going to be sitting next to Camille. And she said, yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, no, she is sitting next to her. She's definitely ignoring her, though. That's for sure. Afflin <laughs> Wadida. <laughs> Not Cameron talking to Seven again. Uh-huh. Oh, there's that guy. Okay, Seven. 
She got that lick of her sister. Stop. It's like he finna. Uh oh, not her talking about fighting. Camille, girl. Let's not do that. Let, let's not do that near seven before she whoops her ass again. But I want her to talk to this guy. I'm gonna wait for him to get his drink and then we'll talk to him. <laughs> did Chastity come back over to dance? She did. What's Cameron doing? I know you're lying. <laughs> Y'all, I love them bad. I love them so bad. Like, what do you mean? Y'all came over here to dance together. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh they are so fast. I hate them bad. I say that, but they're literally like my favorite couple ever. They are adorable. Better yet, let me have them um, come relax on the lounge chair together. There's actually a really cute animation I want them to do. Let me check my settings real quickly, just to make sure we're good. Okay, we are. Speaking of which, I just dropped a Wicked Whims tutorial video on how I use like custom animations. So definitely check it out. I have it linked in the description down below. But there is this cute little animation I want them to do on the lounge chair. It's made by Gray Naya. So I'll have them do that after they get done humping on each other. <laughs> oh no, he's leaving. Okay, let me have Seven talk to him real quickly. She got that lick on his system. Oh, she's feeling tense from Camille, festering bitterness. <gasps> or Anthony. Oh, wait, can we not do a flirty introduction? I don't think we can. Okay, let's do a friendly one. Melody. <laughs> oh. Bimbus. Not him finding us stuck up. <gasps> Y'all. She got a crush on him. It feels like love at first sight wise. Maybe, maybe not irresistible. Very much so. She finds him to be interesting. Unfortunately for Seven, I think he finds her to be stuck up. Oh, he finds her to be pretentious. The Sim seems to be a rather pretentious person. We'll get to know her first, hun. But let me have her get out of the shade and come over to a table to talk. Meanwhile, Camille's also feeling bitter from Seven. And because she's feeling bitter, y'all, I think she's gonna be petty. I think she's gonna tell Anthony come over so that she can do a little bit flirting on her own. And it's 100% to be spiteful to Seven. Like she got her ass whooped and she's still feeling some type of way about it. She said, you know what? Let me get my lick back. Okay, looks like they're about to come over here and talk. Oh, is her autonomously bumping and grinding with Anthony? Oh, messy boots, messy boots. Now nah, she got no attractiveness alert for Aaliyah. Oh my gosh, y'all. I cannot stand Camille. She don't know what she wants. Like, what? Oh, y'all look at Marina Devin. Camille. Camille. Now nah, she throwing it back. Now nah, she... I cannot stand these sims, y'all. <laughs> But honestly, I think Cameron and Seven are over it at this point. Like, they are so over these two. Cameron don't care. He convinced Anthony to break up with Seven. And to his knowledge, he's assuming that they did. Little does he know that they're just on a temporary break. And honestly, Cameron can't judge Camille nor Anthony because he did the same exact thing in high school. That's how he got with Chastity. And he finna wife her up later on tonight. So I really feel like he wouldn't be concerned about Anthony and Camille right now. <laughs> Meanwhile, Seven don't give a damn. She do not care, y'all. Look at her talking to Bezio and his crew. Look at all these fine ass men at this table. I promise y'all seven is gonna be all right. She gonna be all right if her and Anthony don't get back together. You know what? I'll even have her talk to Veronica. Let's do a friendly introduction with her. Oh, we got good first impressions. She finds her to be interesting. Let's see how she thinks of seven. Oh, she thinks seven's fun to be around. Look at seven making some good friends, some actual genuine friends. That won't sleep with her boyfriend. <laughs> I told y'all this was gonna be like a little vacation for them. Like they literally just gonna be underneath each other the whole time, y'all. Not worry about nobody else but them. Lifestyle games. Matthew has unlocked the people person lifestyle. I think he's in the lobby dancing, y'all. He's not talking to his girlfriend though. She pretty though, but that's not your girlfriend, Matthew. I know you like that chocolate, but you taking for. Camille got a text. It's from Sydney. What people think about you matters. And I heard that someone absolutely despises you. 
It's making me question my own opinion on you. Y'all, not Sydney turning against us. First of all, who told him about Camille and Seven's altercation? How'd he find out about that? Y'all, Seven's still honestly talking to Vezio. They're having a deep conversation. Enamored, Seven is falling in love with that crush of hers much too fast, period. <laughs> Girl, go ahead and flirt with him. Better yet, can we bump and grind with him on the dance floor? And can. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead and go on the dance floor. Speaking of which, I think I'm just going to go ahead and have the bubble party because people are already here having a good time. Plus, the DJ is here already. <laughs> um, So I'm going to control him and have him play some music. And I'm going to have baby Matthew bust out some dance moves. Not the DJ playing sexy red. <laughs> I downloaded some custom music just for this trip, y'all. Yes, throw it back, Seven. Throw it back. <laughs> also, the DJ left, y'all. So we just gonna we just gonna have the radio playing. Seven's still over here throwing it back. Our dad called. Camille, do you have the moment to chat of the water story to tell you? No. We're on our spring break trip and you know this, Kenneth. Like, you know they're on their trip right now. Like, this is not the time. It's Camille Tossley bumping and grinding with Tasha. Cameron has feeling really cheerful lately. Things are going well and Cameron doesn't have a care in the world. Sure. What's Cameron doing? The fact that she out here bumping and grinding with Tasha got me screaming. Oh, he's using the restroom. Now he'll be feeling happy on the toilet. Oh, it's already five o'clock. I'm thinking we have the twins head to dinner around seven, but they need to get ready for that as well. So I think we'll wrap up here around 6.30. Chastity's feeling aroused right now from her PMS. Hello? Hi. Tender love and care from some, where some assume sex is a purely selfish physical act, not for Chastity and her partner who form a deeper emotional connection every time they get intimate with each other. Did y'all go off somewhere and hunch? Huh? Public service from, oh, it's from the lounge chair. Oh my gosh, y'all. I thought they went off somewhere to go hunch. I mean, it wouldn't be off brand for them to do, but damn. <laughs> Oh, Cameron's feeling hungover. Cameron, hun, we just started drinking this morning. Why are you already feeling hungover? Anyways, I'm gonna have him and Chastity. Oh, it says he can't bump and grind with Chastity. Well, that is unfortunate. Let me have him get done using the restroom. I'll still have him come on the dance floor with Chastity. Where's Jordan? I haven't seen homegirl at all. Is she even here? Now, why is she behind the desk like she work here? Isn't she feeling flirty too? She just got done looking up woohoo techniques. That's why. Oh my gosh, girl, come over here and bump and grind. Oh, now why it says bump and grind with Anthony and not her man? I don't know what's going on, but just come over here and dance. Also, the bump and grind feature comes with the Patreon version of Wicked Wimps. But um, that's why these Sims are autonomously getting down and dirty. Like, look how Camille's looking at her. Camille is such a savage, y'all. This girl is such a savage. Like, didn't you just get done bumping and grinding with Anthony? Like, homegirl is ruthless. She know Tasha like her too? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't get over them, y'all. I can't get over the, just ignore the clipping though. Just, just ignore the height difference, y'all. <laughs> he kissing her forehead, but we, we gonna be cute. Oh, they got a little interaction from that. So I had Cameron and Chastity do a kiss and grind interaction by Utopia. And we got a pop-up from Chastity and it says, I love the way you hold me. They are adorable. This is sending me so bad, y'all. <laughs> this is sending me so bad. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Get it, baby Matthew? <laughs> Hello? Y'all. No way! Commit. I don't even know what to say. Why is she throwing it back on Devin? Devin's talking to Marie. She is so messy. I'm just owning Camille at this point. I know I say I'll be supporting her wrongs. I don't know if I can support this, y'all. Like, this is such consistent behavior on her part. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just throwing it back too. It's the fact that Devin literally invited Marine on this trip. And I know, I know Devin has to know about Camille and Anthony. This is so damn messy, y'all. <laughs> like so messy. It's six o'clock. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I cheated Cameron's needs earlier, but I'm gonna have him come to his hotel room and take a quick shower before his dinner with his friends. And then we're gonna do the same with Camille. Check her needs. They're pretty 
good. They're pretty good. I didn't cheat her needs, but. <gasps> No, girl, stop dancing on Devin. Like, it wouldn't be off brand for her to do it. Actually, let me have Cameron take a shower with Chastity, too. Woohoo. Is she still feeling aroused? Because I actually might have them do it. Oh, she's not. I'm gonna still have them do it. I don't care. <laughs> Listen, this is their first vacation. Like, I'm surprised they haven't hunched yet, honestly. Y'all go have some fun of your own. I mean, we just killed two birds with one stone. That's all we doing. We saving water. We conserving water, y'all. We looking out for the planet. Not a lot of folks can say that. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> hey, nah, why you? <laughs> like, we really got a two for one going on right now. Oh! Oh! Oh, thank goodness we're using protection. So responsible. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> It's the fact that you can hear Cameron and Chastity shower door rattling. I mean, just rattling. They going at it like bunny rabbits in there. <laughs> yeah, I got these pictures. <laughs> we got to be at the restaurant in literally a few minutes. Come on. All right. Anthony. You know what? At least he didn't change it to his wig. All right, seven o'clock. Let me check everybody's bus before we head to dinner. Looks like Cameron has a flirty buff from having a max romance while kissing. He's feeling happy from being in his element because he does like parties. He's feeling completely satisfied from his quick little shower woohoo sesh with his girlfriend, which will be his fiance in a few hours. Discovered thyself from becoming a cheerful sim. He's feeling happy from feeling close for someone nearby. Feeling great from high needs that I cheated. <laughs> He's feeling clean and satisfied from good shower woohooing. I'm gonna cheat this hungover buff. <laughs> Cause I'm tired of looking at it. He's feeling energized from bumping and grinding with his boo. Let's check on Camille. Oh, she doesn't have that many buffs. She's also feeling energized from bumping and grinding with Tasha. Feeling energized from her active traits. Feeling great from high needs. And then she's feeling inspired from showering with Anthony. Twice the shower thoughts, sharing a shower and all the thoughts that come with it. Gave Camille some great ideas. They're ready to get creative, whether it's back in bed or a different outlet. And let's go ahead and check Chastity's buffs too while we're at it. So she's feeling well loved. She's feeling clean and satisfied from the shower woohoo. She's feeling pleasantly satisfied from spectacular woohooing with Cameron. And and she's feeling oversensitive right now from her PMS, which I feel so bad about because Cameron's literally about to propose to her. And I just imagine Chastity's gonna be bawling her eyes out. She's just gonna be so emotional from it. And then she's also feeling energized from bumping and grinding. Now that they're done that, taking their shower, I'm gonna finish having them get ready off camera. And I'll meet you guys at the restaurant where Cameron will have a special surprise for Chastity. to the restaurant you guys and as you could tell by the cutscene I had Cameron propose to Chastity and I was contemplating on either doing a cinematic cutscene for it or doing it in game and I figured why not do both like why not show y'all the proposal we can have a cake and eat it too he technically hasn't proposed yet so I'm gonna have them do that before they eat their dinner but let me show you guys the restaurant that we're currently eating dinner at this is the Sapphire Yacht restaurant made by Sassy Shrew 9716 and I I'm obsessed with this lot y'all like it is perfect i wanted the twins to enjoy a nice little bougie dinner and they're gonna do just that tonight cameron did rent out this private deck for him and chastity so he can pop the big question to her he even hired a harpist to set the tone for tonight and she is doing just that 
I would wait until after dinner, but I just feel like Cameron is so excited, y'all. Like, he just set up this little surprise for Chastity, and he just wants to pop the question. Like, he is so ready. All right, let's ease on into it. I'm so excited, y'all. <laughs> we already did this interaction earlier today, but we'll do it again. They know what you're about. And then we'll have him ask that question. Gosh, no! <laughs> just, just ignore him kissing her forehead like that. Hello? Camille, girl! Oh my god. I'm. We'll get to Camille and her friends a little bit later on. I'm just waiting for the rest of the staff to show up on the lot. If you couldn't tell, we're currently on the same exact lot as the resort. I literally just plopped this lot down. We're still waiting on the restaurant staff to spawn onto the lot to request a table. So until then, we're gonna have Cameron propose to Chastity. And I will be using a mod for this. This is the Romantic Surprise Proposal Interactions made by Mercury Foam. And there's three different romantic proposals you can do. The one I want Cameron to do is the surprise proposal. So gonna have to do it y'all it's time it's time to pop the question we've been waiting on this for a few episodes hmm. huh? oh. oh my gosh <laughs> Cameron just got engaged to Chastity. Let me show y'all the ring. Y'all already know I'm finna show y'all the ring. Hold on. <laughs> Look at that ring. It is so beautiful. It's very dainty. You know, I'm not expecting Cameron to get a boulder for her. Okay. She not Mimi Dreamer. Not everyone can be like Dirk. <laughs> The way you see Mimi's wedding ring, like a mile away, like we can't be having the same exact standards for <laughs> Chastity. But I love it. I love that it's silver. I love that it's square and very structured. And I just feel like it fits Chastity perfect. Let's check the sentiments because we got a new one. Deeply in love. Some romantic moments leave a powerful impression. And Cameron will never forget how he felt even deeper in love with Chastity. And Chastity got the same sentiments. Y'all, they're engaged. <laughs> Remember when I said I was gonna tear up during the proposal? I did, I did. I'm so attached to my Sims, y'all. I'm so attached to them. And y'all don't understand, these two right here have been through so much. Like, I'm honestly shocked that they even get married, if I'm being honest. But they're just so in love with each other and they haven't gotten into any drama. They've been faithful to each other throughout the whole entire series. It's only right for them to get engaged. Meanwhile, Camille and her friends are enjoying their dinner on the first floor of the yacht. The hostess finally showed up and I was able to get everybody their table. <laughs> it took forever, but I also waited for the lights to turn on because it was pretty dark. Well, let me show you guys who's all at the table. So we have baby Matthew and Jordan and they're matching. And then we have Tasha, Anthony, and then Devin and Marine. And as you can see here, we're missing someone at the table. And that's because Seven is sitting somewhere else. She's currently sitting with Vezio and his crew. And remember when I said Vezio was a one-star celebrity and he had connections? Well, let me show you one of the connections that he got. Seven's currently eating dinner with Aubrey Graham, aka Drake, aka Anita Max Wien. But I thought having Drake here was very fitting, especially since we're in Turks and Caicos. So I grabbed him from the gallery. I did add some personal touches to him. And now we're eating dinner with him, y'all. I told y'all Seven was going to be living it up on this spring break trip, and I was not lying. But this actually won't be the only time that we interact with Drake in <laughs> this series. We'll definitely be interacting with him a lot more in season three when Cameron enters the music industry. I'm gonna be so honest with y'all. I low-key want Drake and Cameron to beef. <laughs> I low key want him to beef because I feel like Drake is always in some beef with another artist. And I just feel like once Cameron makes it big, it's just gonna be the battle of the baby girls. Like, there can only be one baby girl in the industry. 
Let me introduce you guys to who's all invited to Drake's dinner tonight. So basically Drake's entourage, like his little crew, invited the girls to dinner. So we have the Del Sol University students here, Aaliyah, Veronica, and Gabrielle. And then we have Vezio, and then the rest of Drake's entourage. This is your boy Barker. He is a level two celebrity. And then this is Rez Westfall. He is also a level two celebrity. And I did not create any of these films. I grabbed them from the gallery and just gave them quick makeovers. But it's already 920. I'm gonna have everybody order meals at their tables because we have I've not done that. All right, we got about 20 meals to get. <laughs> I think we're gonna grab the sweet nights just because we're enjoying our dinner on a yacht during the nighttime. I think that'll be a vibe. I think I'm gonna get a martini for Matthew. I feel like he's starting to get into his grown and sophisticated era. And then I think I'm gonna get a mojito for Devin and Anthony. As for entrees, again, I'm using nothing but Soma Kisavrinka's recipes. Cause I imagine Camille's a health nut. So we're gonna get something really healthy for her. I'm thinking maybe this salad with shrimp y'all my UI's messed up <laughs> my UI's messed up right now Ooh. i just need to bite the bullet and just update my game at this point i'm gonna get that for camille i think we'll also get that for marine we'll grab the grilled oysters for jordan matthew aren't oysters supposed to be an aphrodisiac <laughs> yeah let me go ahead and get that for them <laughs> Oh, and since the steak is the chef's choice, we'll just grab that for Devin and Anthony. Let me keep tabs on the price of everybody's meal. Camille's drink is 48 simoleons. Holy moly. I wish I would go to somebody's restaurant and they tell me their drink is 48 simoleons. I would kindly tell them to go to hell. <laughs> and then her salad with shrimp is 45 simoleons. Oh, I didn't get anything for Tasha. Um, let's see. Let's grab the tuna tataki for her. Then we're gonna have Drake order the meal for everybody. And I'm just gonna get the most expensive items on the meal for <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. Drake's Instagram name is Champagne Poppy, so we're gonna grab the wine. I should have put champagne on the menu. Dang. Okay, this is close enough. All right, let's get to the expensive stuff. I know Seven geeking right now. <laughs> Because not only is she meeting Drake, but he's dining her out on a yacht. Like, hello? <laughs> Can we switch places? What would Drake order, y'all? Would he order the steak or would he get something like tuna tataki? I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the tuna tataki for him. I think we'll also get it for Gabrielle. We we'll got the lamb steak for Veronica and Aaliyah. We we'll got the steak for Leroy and then the halibut for Betsio and Rez. Oh my god. Y'all. <laughs> I've never seen the bill be that high. 1,244 simoleons. That is insane. That is actually insane. <laughs> Seven better enjoy every single bite of that meal. <laughs> and then we're gonna order for the lovebirds. We gotta think about the most romantic drinks to get them. What's gonna get them in the freakiest mood? Let's just get the glass of wine. Should we get the oysters for them too? <laughs> they don't need no aphrodisiac. They don't need none of that. Quite frankly, they need the opposite. You know, let's just do the tuna tataki for them as well. Ah, Bergaba. Oh, she's so beautiful, y'all. She's so pretty. Like, Cameron, Cameron did bad. <gasps> oh my gosh, they're so adorable. He definitely bagged him a baddie, that's for sure. <laughs> Items on the table are preventing your order from being delivered. Oh my goodness, y'all, it's 10 o'clock at night. I don't need any issues with our meal. Okay, so it looks like Camille and her group got their meal. Matthew and Jordan are enjoying their oyster. <laughs> Just look how Matthew looking. He's like, mm, go ahead and take that bite. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what a vibe though. Like, I know I be sound like a broken record whenever I say that, but you cannot tell me that my sins don't be vibing. Like, you cannot tell me this is not a vibe. Like, they're really enjoying a bougie ass dinner on a bougie ass yacht. <laughs> like, hello? And then look at the food. Look at the material. Look at the quality. Max is not gonna provide that for you. <laughs> My sims really be living their best lives. I love it. Okay, let's check on Drake's entourage. They're enjoying their meals. I still can't get over seven eating dinner with Drake. Like, I'm the one that planned it, y'all. I planned this trip back in December. Like, this trip is like four months in the making. And I just still can't believe the outcome. <laughs>
But let me control seven, have her talk to Bitsy a little bit more. Actually, you know what? Let's have her talk to Drake. Because if you don't know, Seven's also trying to get into the music industry like Cameron. Her major is also music and she is a music lover. And so she's just, you know, trying to get a head start in the music industry. She's definitely doing a lot better than Cameron, that's for sure. We're gonna do a friendly introduction because I already know Drake is a very friendly guy. <laughs> He's a little too friendly if you ask me, especially with the younger, the younger audience, but... You know, <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> I'm gonna mind my business. Not him getting a bad first impression on us. Pretentious? This sim seems to be a rather pretentious person. That's very rich. Very rich coming from Drake. <laughs> Let me check what Seven's first impression on Drake is. Annoying? Oh my god. And then she finds this man to be extremely attractive. Of course she does. <laughs> Well, Aubrey has barely met the sim, but already finds them notably annoying. Oh, wait, no, Seven finds Drake to be pretentious. That's actually very on brand. <laughs> and then Drake finds Seven to be annoying. Wow, all right. <laughs> Yikes. Let me check these first impressions she has with Vezio. Okay, I remember the crush. Then she finds her interesting and then he finds her to be pretentious, but I feel like he's still trying to get them draws, but okay. <laughs> All right, let me have her talk to Betsy a little bit more. This is about the meal. Here we go. She's like, oh my gosh, that was so good. I ain't never had nothing like that. Actually, you know what? I feel like Seven would have a meal like that. Like she comes from a very wealthy background. So this is actually probably not new to her. <laughs> Is yeah, she feeling very flirty? We might have to bring Vezio back to the crib with us, y'all. We might have to look how he looking. Yeah, we might have to bring this man back to the resort with the. Oh wait, she's rooming with Marine. Tang. I did not think this through. <laughs> what if they had a little quickie on the boat? <laughs> you know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Camille, girl. This girl stays cross stitching at the damn table. You know what? I'm gonna let her do it. I'm gonna let her do it. Let me have her talk with Tasha a little bit more. We'll gossip with her. We're probably telling her like, hey, I think Cameron is proposing to Chastity right now. Because like I said last episode, I feel like Cameron would be too afraid to tell Camille about him proposing to Chastity until like the very last minute. Like if Cameron were to tell Camille about his proposal, it would have been like on our way to the yacht. Like he probably whispered, hey, I'm about to propose to Chastity. <laughs> And Camille's like, what? Why have you been hiding this from me? Knowing damn well Camille can't keep no secret. Okay, so it looks like Camille's feeling flirty from the cocktail she had, and then she's feeling happy from the mind-expanding meal. As for Seven, she's feeling flirty from her crush. She's also feeling happy from the meal. She's feeling happy because there's a nearby sim that Seven feels in tune with. Happy about eating dinner with Drake's entourage. She's feeling happy from the nice expensive furniture she's sitting on. She's feeling happy from the deep connection she's making with Vezio and she's feeling very fulfilled and then she's also feeling upset about her interaction with drake <laughs> all right let's check on cameron and chastity they're just enjoying the meal as a newly engaged couple let's check his buffs hot dinner dates can you feel it oh my gosh wait hold on from proposing it was all so sudden it just took one look and the room went silent for cameron that was enough for them to know that they were oh my god i'm actually about to cry again i'm so happy for cameron <laughs> this man has literally been in love with this girl since the very first episode of high school years no matter what i put this man through time and time again he just kept going back to chastity and i can't believe i tried to stop him from getting with his girl like this is his girl y'all this is his girl this is his woman and he gonna stick beside her i want to say that this mod is made by that's so jordy who is a good mutual of mine on twitter and if this is jordy's mod they ate down they ate down like i actually teared up from this buff if y'all don't have this mod in your game you need it immediately he's feeling excited from discussing wedding dates cameron is buzzing with joy at the thought of getting married to his fiance oh my I'm geeked. I'm so geeked right now. He's feeling happy from a special sim. What a wonderful feeling to be around a sim that Cameron has such strong feelings for. Hello? Bray nerves from Badly Played Music. I'm gonna ignore this because I actually spawned this sim onto the slides. <laughs> And I had to cheat the harp skill for her. So I'm not gonna lie, at first she was not playing that great. It was giving a hot mess, but we fixed her up, okay? She playing good now. That harp skill is maxed up. So we just gonna ignore that little buff. I just can't believe that they're engaged. Oh, 
<laughs> Let me have him flirt with his fiance some more. Oh, Let's check Chastity's buffs. I forgot to do that. He's feeling utterly enamored from Cameron. Just being around a stone that Chastity is so enamored with can fill her with romantic feelings. She's also feeling flirty from discussing wedding dates. Chastity is more than ready to get married to her partner, but in the meantime, right in the meantime they're just gonna be chilling because i don't plan on them getting married anytime soon at least not until the funds are looking more stable <laughs> oh this is another buff from the mod is this really happening for being proposed to of course of course chastity will marry her partner she's been waiting for this moment for a long time oh <laughs> you already know chastity has been wanting this ring for so long <laughs> Oh my gosh. And you know what? This is a read. This is a read for Chastity. Chastity getting engaged may seem odd to others considering she cares about romantic freedom, but the decision makes sense right now with this sim and it remains a joyous occasion. Plus, nothing as of yet is saying that Chastity's freedom would take a hit from this. So if you don't know, Chastity's aspiration is serial romantic and I want to say she has the non-exclusive romantic relationship preference, <gasps> but the fact that homegirl has been faithful to Cameron throughout this entire season speaks volumes y'all it speaks volumes i'm not even gonna lie i tried to have homegirl cheat on him <laughs> i was testing out her loyalty and she's actually been very loyal and i love that for her i really feel like she's just as obsessed with cameron as he is with her so so <laughs> oh i still can't get over the ring y'all i still can't get over the ring it's a fiance it's a fiance <laughs> wait what <gasps> Oh my gosh, wait! I think Seven just vented to Aaliyah about her separation with Anthony. Sad news, but hey, you know the best way to get over romantic disappointments? Forget them by flirting with a new love interest. Give me a call anytime and we'll go to a bar, see if anyone catches your eye. This is the exact energy I need for Seven. In season three, Seven's moving to Delso Valley. Aaliyah and her crew, they're finna be real close and tight with Seven. Seven is in great hands right now. And he gained a sentiment from it. I really value the time we spend together i think it's made us closer than ever it's her making connections on this spring break trip i'm so glad i'm so glad you guys told me to invite seven on this trip like homegirl's having the time of her life she's making new friends she's eating dinner with drake she got her a little potential boo like i love this for seven i really do meanwhile camille and anthony's trifling ass have been flirting autonomously but that's okay seven got her lick back okay she got her lick back she not worried about them but it's 12 30 i think it's time to head home Tasha barely touched her food. Girl, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> Let's have Drake in the mill and pay the bill for them. <laughs> and then we'll do the same for Cameron. Oh, Cameron didn't finish his wine. Okay, I'll let him finish their drinks. Oh, Chastity's complimenting his family. Let me check on Camille. Okay, she finished her meal. That's all that matters. I'm gonna have her pay the bill. Alright, they're done. Oh, while we're here, let me have her take a picture with Tasha. I should have done that during the sunset, but it's okay. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. I don't know what they are, y'all. Like, after they was humping on the dance floor, I just, I don't know what the hell Camille wants. Like, I really don't. That's why I'm just kind of over it with Camille. Like, she just do whatever the hell she wants. And I just let her. Also, I don't know why Sydney's the server in Turks and Caicos, but we just go ignore it. <laughs> All right, Cameron finished his meal. I'm gonna have him in the meal. I would have appreciated if Chessie finished her last sip of her wine, but it's fine. <laughs> it's one o'clock. We need to head back to the resort. And by head back to the resort, I mean um, plop the resort back onto this light. <laughs> 
we made it back to resort. And as you can see here, Cameron Chastity finna celebrate their little engagement. So I'm gonna let them do that. I did have Cameron pack a camcorder for him to record the memories of their first vacation together, but he might be trying to quarrel something else. <laughs> If you catch my truth. As for Camille and her friends, they're currently enjoying some live music in the lounge area. They're gonna do that for the next hour or so and then head to bed. But that's it for part one of the twin spring break trip in Turks and Caicos. I hope you guys are currently enjoying the trip. Like I said before, this was months in the making. Just something I've been working on in the background and I'm so happy to finally bring it to the channel for you guys. Next episode is the twins birthday. So we're gonna be celebrating big for that. And <laughs> we'll see another Drake cameo in that episode so stay tuned as for seven in her new boo Bedzio, they are growing closer so i'm just gonna keep letting them do their thing and we'll see how their relationship blossoms in the next episode if you enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like and comment i would highly appreciate it please subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of discover uni and i'll see you guys in my next video